Everyone knows that a gas meter has to be read each month in order for the customer to be billed. But how does that information get from here to here? That's the subject of this edition of Natural Gas 101. Today we're in Mansfield, Louisiana, where I'm talking with senior service tech Robert Vance. And Robert, I understand before you can go out and check meters, there's a step you have to go through first. That's correct, Terry. Before we begin reading me, I have to get the iTron, load my routes, and then we'll head out for today. Well, now that the route's been loaded, it's time to go to our first stop. Let's go. Well, Robert, we've arrived at the first meter of the day. Why don't you walk us through the process of reading a meter? Absolutely, Terry. I'd be glad to. Well, Robert, we're here at the first meter. What's the first step? Uh, the first step is we want to verify that we use at the right meter. And each meter has a serial number. Okay. In this particular case, this meter number is 971897. And here on my is 971897. So we know that this is the correct meter number. Okay. Then the next thing we need to do, we'll look at the index. If you notice, I have to look at all four dials mm -hmm. in order to read uh, this meter. Thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, a million. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in other words, it's very important that you look at all dials, see how your hand is going clockwise or counterclockwise in order to read this meter properly. You know, uh, right now the meter reads six eight. Four, five. Mm -hmm. And again, before this become a five, this hand right here is going to make a, a complete revolution. It's going to be on zero on the right hand side of zero before it become a five. Okay, before this become a seven here, this hand here is going to have to make a complete revolution on zero or on the right hand of zero before that will become a seven. So it's almost like a second hand on a watch. Exactly, exactly. Each hand is very, very important, you know. And uh, then you go ahead and enter into your iTron, uh -huh. and if it's accepted, then you go ahead on. Also important here to remember, this is called a meter test hand right here, a one mm -hmm. foot test hand. When you see this hand moving like that, it's either the customer is using gas or there's a leak. Uh, this tells us that the hot water heater or the heating unit is on right now, okay. and the reason why uh, the hand is moving like that, you know. So it plays an important part to make sure that you observe that hand. You, if the numbers were extremely high, mm -hmm. let's say it was, an exorbitant number that you're not used to. I mean, what does that tell you? Well, it's a problem. Something's wrong. Uh, we'll make sure that the meter had been exchanged. Then we'll go in and uh, check out to make sure it's not a leak or anything. If no one is home, if it's real high, we'll turn the meter off for safety's sake. Leave a blue tag, and once they come home, they'll call, they will come back to investigate it to make sure that there's no leak or anything. Sure. Okay. Well, we've read this one. Let's go on to the next one. Okay. Uh, we're back at the office in Mansfield now, and it's been a long day, but Robert, the day's not over yet. What's the next step? The next step is to go into the office, put my iTron onto the host, and then download my information to Dallas, and then the billing process will begin. Once the information gathered by the meter readers has been transmitted into the Banner Advantage system, the next stop is a vendor, where the bills are printed and inserted into envelopes, along with any inserts that we may want to include that month, and then mailed to our customers. Neither rain, snow, dark of night, or even dogs will stop Robert and the hundreds of other meter readers in the company from making their appointed rounds every day. A gas meter may not look like much, but think of them as cash registers, keeping track of how much money is owed by our customers to Atmos Energy. When you look at them like that, they really don't look so bad at all. For Natural Gas 101, I'm Terry Briggs.